Hi guys, my name is Kyle Taya. I'm one of the co-operators here at Tinker's Toy and Hobby. If you haven't seen our channel before and you don't know what we do, we operate a small vending route here in the Oregon area. We do some bull cracks, we do some mini cranes, and basically we just share our experience running the business here on the channel for people that are looking to start out for themselves. We really try to be very transparent about the things we do here with our business so that other people can get the tools they need to grow their own vending operation. So today we are going to be discussing Toy Box. Now, as you know, back when we very first started and we primarily worked with candy machines and that was because we were primarily running bulk racks back in the beginning. Now, as we got into miniature claw machines, we realized that candy machines variety of prizes to stock those machines with wasn't quite what we wanted to see for our route. We wanted to see more branded items, we wanted to see higher profit margins, um, and just in general we wanted a bigger variety than what they could offer. I slowly started transitioning to ordering from Alibaba, and if you know anything about ordering from Alibaba you'll know the profit margins that come from doing so greatly outweigh, drastically outweigh any of the options here in the US. Um, now Toy Box is filling a little bit of a, a unique shoe here because he is taking more sought after products from Alibaba and he is providing them to people here in the US without the risk that comes with them. So when you order from Alibaba, you obviously will run into things like customs, you know, high shipping costs, high order quantities, and those are all things that for a new vendor can be very scary. It can kind of discourage them from making the most out of their route because they're worried that there may be other things that they can't really handle when those things come up. When you're very first starting out, you probably don't need 2,000 of one item. You probably only need, you know, a couple hundred to start. And when you take things like shipping costs and customs into consideration, just very intimidating for new vendors, which is why it took us so long to order from Alibaba. This can create a lot of um, competition for people that are just starting out because if you have another vendor in your area and they're running these really high quality prizes, these really sought after prizes that they have secured from Eva over on Alibaba, but you're running, you know, things you found at Dollar Tree or just like basically whatever you can get your hands on here in the US, you're probably not going to be seen as high of profit margins as your competitors are. And that can be really hard for a company that's just starting out and wants to put their best foot forward. Now, this is where we're going to get into Toy Box, and I'll explain a little bit of what he offers. So a lot of those highly sought after prizes that you'll find over on Alibaba, as you can see right here, these little flip octopuses, um, the emoji keychains, boba plush, all of these we see run very commonly. We run these in our own machines and we're very very happy with how they're perf they perform as you can see he's already sold out he's sold out of quite a few different things actually including some unbranded items which we'll touch on here in a little bit but point is toy box hq is acting as a middleman for these to take away some of the risk that comes from alibaba some of the costs that come from ordering in such high quantities and he's providing these in lower quantities here in the US for people that are looking to maybe test some of these items so that they can try them out in their machines without the risk of not knowing how they'll do, without the risk of shipping costs, without the super high minimum order quantities. He's making the, these a little bit more accessible to people that are just starting out. Now even people that are just starting out with their route out of the equation you still also have some older vendors here in the community that have never really done things through Alibaba. You know, they've been established since the 60s and even earlier than that. Um, so when it comes to ordering from places like Alibaba, that can be a little bit uh, scary for them as well, I think, and maybe a little bit uh, more tech technology oriented than they're used to. Toybox is a much easier to navigate website. Uh, things are very, very straightforward, as you can see. I mean, you can literally add something to the cart, go to checkout, super quick, super easy. You don't have to worry about wiring money or, you know, <laughs> going back and forth in messages, trying to make sure you got what you actually wanted. So Toybox does help to kind of fill that gap there as well. They make things a little bit easier to access, a little bit more comfortable maybe for that older generation of vendors that isn't as comfortable ordering from somewhere like Alibaba. So another thing I want to touch on here real fast is these unbranded items. Now there's an ongoing debate in the mini claw community when it, when it comes to stocking your machines with unlicensed plush. So we're talking, you know, miniature Pokemon heads and stuff like that. I mean, most of these are unlicensed, but Eva sells some little miniature Pokemon heads that are about this big and they just have Pokemon character faces. Of course, there's the popular two inch Pokeballs and all of those licensed things. There's a little bit of a debate going on whether or not that will pose a risk later for vendors in the community if that's something that starts getting cracked down on. Now, Toybox offers a lot of unbranded products 
products here on his website. I think the only ones he's actually offering right now are these little LED watches and these little Zoo Pal like plate plushies which those are kind of cute. <laughs> the rest of these items on here are unbranded and the reason why that is a good thing for those people that are worried about that is because you, know, you still get access to high quality plush without having to worry about that down the road. If that's something you're worried about, Michael and I were not really personally worried about that being an issue because vending is done on such a small scale that I just don't really ever see it becoming an issue. But if that's something you're worried about, you have access to some really high quality products here on Toy Box HQ that you wouldn't otherwise really have access to unless you were willing to order from overseas. So all of these items will be getting restocked and I think he's going to be adding some other products here soon. The next restock he has coming in is going to be in, in two to three weeks. One day handling time so you will get your products quickly, <laughs> usually by the end of the week. And if you know anything about ordering from Alibaba, um, which I think people have been very like vocal about this, so most people do understand this, um, their handling time takes a few weeks. Um, they have a large influx of orders coming in on a large scale and obviously they're managing everything from overseas and trying to get all the shipping figured out from there. So that handling time is long. I think the last time we ordered from Eva, the last two times we ordered from Eva, actually it took a month exactly to get our products from her. And when we ordered machines from Rainy instead of candy machines, it took two months to get here. Um, and then there was another vendor in our area whose machines got here and had some damage. And so he had to wait some extra time. So there are risks that come from ordering overseas. I think we've been pretty transparent about that here on the channel, but Toy Box can be a really fantastic option for anybody who is looking to order some of these higher quality or higher variety plush options options or toy options without the risk that comes from ordering from Alibaba. We were running these on our route right now and people have really, really enjoyed them. If you like these little plush Miley Face keychains, he's actually doing a giveaway on his website that ends on February 16th. So go check that out. I'll put the link down below in the description box and in the pinned comment. Um, they're gonna be drawing the winner on February 16th. So maybe go win yourself some free plush while you're checking out his website. And if you guys decide you wanna place any orders through uh, Box HQ, we do have a discount code right now, not to yunkers, it's kinkers. Um, so if you guys decide you want to save a little bit on your order using the discount code Tinkers. So go check out Toy Box HQ. I think he's filling a very unique niche in the market right now because there are people who are uncomfortable ordering from Alibaba but don't really know who to order from. I know there's been like a few vendors here and there that have kind of like past materials amongst themselves, but most of those vendors are comfortable ordering from Alibaba and just do that in a pinch. Toybox HQ is going to be a fantastic option if you need something in a pinch. Uh, he also offers sticker packs free with your order, so there are a few different little benefits to ordering from this guy. I think that he's going to see a lot of growth here in the next few months, which is why I kind of want to push this out there early so you guys can kind of get on that. Uh, as you can see, a lot of his stuff sells out fairly quickly, and so, you know, when he, when he restocks, you kind of want to take advantage of it. He's on a good track and I think that he's going to be a very valuable asset to new vendors here in the community that want to try out some higher quality items or want to try out a higher variety of items without the risk that comes from ordering from Alibaba. So comment below if you've ordered from Toy Box already and let me know how your experience was. Um, thank you guys for watching and if you want to see more vending content in the future be sure to stay tuned and subscribe and we will see you next time.